intro music, intro music. My name is Mark and I like intro music. Is that better? Well, kind of is. I don't want to pay no royalties, so here's an intro music song or something. Well, that's the way I'm doing it. If you want me on your stupid show, you're the one to kick me off. Uh, hold on. No, I did not kick you off the show. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Okay. Do you have any evidence of this? Hmm? I don't think that I didn't see that you reposted the video after taking me out of it because you wanted to try to get no, rid of me and okay. make it so it never really existed. Hold on. This is what really happened. There are some people, no names mentioned, that had said that they liked my channel, they thought it was funny, but they just could not tolerate the watermark. So... I kept the one with you on posted, but I did also make a version without the watermark. You see? And just like today, um, guess what? You're here, Mark, without the watermark. So what's the difference, right? Is it all good? Whatever. Good. Okay. So, um, welcome. Sorry about the shenanigans at the beginning to Value Vinyl. This is our fourth episode, and uh, in this show if you haven't watched from the beginning through um we do everything for the lowest budget possible and that budget is two bucks so everything you'll see on the show the vinyl um records two bucks uh the as soon as i get my uh player working uh, that's the one that i bought for a dollar um you know the cleaning method i use to clean the records also two dollars and under i will be showing that in a future video so that's the whole point of the show is that you can enjoy vinyl and music and yes it is making a comeback and a resurgence and there's all these reissues and you can spend 20 30 dollars on a brand new record but you don't have to there's plenty of records out there already that are worth checking out that people may have disregarded so with that being said let's go ahead and go into our very first Random pick. Good morning. Good morning. It's time to make a video. Aren't you ready to make another value vinyl video? I'm ready to go back to bed. Ra 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 random record. <laughs> Tech with polka for parties. Uh, so they are instrumental polkas, all of them, and so there's no lyrics. They agree. Give me a subject, and I will make a song out of it in the polka style. Pineapples. Pineapples, really? That's it? Okay. Um, da, 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 da. I have an apple. I have a pie. Stop. I have a pineapple. Stop. Stop. Over, stop, and go. Stop. All right, Polka for Parties. Um, this is technically my very first record I got. Before my LP60, I did have another record player, one of those crappy all-in-one combo models. Uh, and I just went to Eric over at Vintix and said, hey, do you have any record? I don't care if it barely plays. I just want to test it out on this record player. And this is the one he gave me. And guess what? The record player broke. Still have the record. It's not too bad. Matter of fact, one of the cool things is this is old. Um, and if you look on the disc guides, you'll see it's uh, well before I was born. And uh, this thing is, I don't know what weight it is, if it's 180 grams, but you know how uh, on those old you know, dynamic records you get the Wurble Wurble factor? There's no Wurble Wurble. This thing is solid and, uh, yeah, built like a tank. Go ahead. Kind of hefty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, what did you think? You got, <laughs> meh, yippee -coo. I don't know. What do you think? It was good. It's not the best polka music because Weird Al makes the best polka music. Well, yes, and uh, Weird Al does make some good polka music, and no relation, Frankie Yankovic also. But uh, that was our selection for Polka for Parties. Oh, polka stinks. Ra, 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 random record. I heard a lot of good things about Common. He's a pretty good rapper. Right. A little bit of a beat here. Okay. Are we living in a dream world? Oh, is this like, I get, I'm still like green cool, Jay's I need love? I know you're sick and tired of arguing. Oh, I'm so 
such a nice what guy. Yeah, you think I'm a perv and a dog, but you're so Jealous. pretty, girl. You, you can trust me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mind, baby. I'm so trustworthy. Smile. Whatever. I don't know baby. about you. No, 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 no. I've had enough of this garbage. Hey, Bree, can you flip the record over? Sure thing. This song is disgusting. Well, it's not disgusting. It's just stupid. What's on the other side? Let's go ahead and drop the needle. Ooh. Yeah. It's a little harder. Hope you got some rhymes to go with it. Talk to me, common. Preach your brother. Get off past, know the abstract nigga with the attitude. Pass the booze and let's build on it. I'm rolling in a Cadillac with the real front it. I ain't even spoke no more, but I feel got it. Yeah, another instance where I like the B side better than the A side. This is common with uh, Come Close Me featuring Mary J. Blige. Don't care about Come Close to Me at all, actually. Uh, not my style of hip-hop. I don't like the, oh, girl, I'm such a nice guy. Look at me. You have pretty eyes. Hey, girl. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of that. But, hey, maybe you like it because you're one of those girls he's trying to hit on. So would he, you know, get anywhere with that? Not your style? Blah. Yeah. But what about the other side? The, eh, 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 eh. Oh, you like that? That was upbeat. It was good. That was that was cool. Yes, there were some vulgarities in there because yes, this does say parental advisory, explicit lyrics. But you know what? She understands what words are and what the words mean, and uh, I did raise her well in that aspect. So, and also I understand when you're hearing it in a song, who's saying it, where it's coming from, and it's actually part of their artistic expression of what they're saying, and it's not uh, meant as a vulgarity. So, all right, cool, common. Let's check out the next one. Oh, so you like understand the words from the street? Well then, Steve, you better jiggity check yourself before you wiggity wreck yourself. You can pick your friends, you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. You know, that song doesn't bother me. In fact, I kind of like it. You like it? What's the point of me even doing it? Forget it. We're changing it next week, then. It doesn't even bother you. Anyway. Where my bloopers? Oh, a blooper album from like the 50s and 60s. Cool. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum. This priceless collection titled Pardon My Blooper mm -hmm. is intended to be a sympathetic tribute to Aww. members of the radio and television industry who have been the victims of these classic boners. <laughs> boners! <laughs> oh, you, you know what boners are, right, Bree? Right? Mistakes. They're, they're mistakes people made in the 50s and 60s. Oh. For our starting point, we tune in yeah, on one mistakes. of the radio and TV's best known Like, we'll have this mistake here. Let's see what classic. this one is. You, you remember that, uh, that fella from history, Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Boner fart. <laughs> Boner fart. It's a mistake. It's still a mistake. Right? Yeah. Our late show film presentation for this evening will be a revival featuring the late Leslie Howard. As the pimple. The pimple. <laughs> so when I was at camp, they had this thing called the Boner Award. And when you did something really stupid or funny, they got a chicken bone and put it on a string and put it around your neck. And you'd walk around as the boner of the week at the camp. See, so boners are mistakes. Contrary to what you've been told by kids in your class, boners are mistakes. No matter what you see or any kind of boner, no, it's a mistake. Got it? All right, continue on with your pick. Lecture time with Daddy's over. Go ahead, babes. Show them the record. And um, so I chose this record because of the fact that it's one of the few 10-inch records that we have. And it's by um, Kermit Shounder. Sh Shounder. Shounder. Well, as far as I can tell, they don't teach cursive in high school. It's Schaefer, but... Uh, you know, cursive's not important. In that new core math, that's how we do things. Screw the way it's been done before. We'll do it the dumb way now. Anyway, go ahead. You were saying Kermit Schaefer. Kermit Take Schaefer. Two. Kermit Schaefer and... Kermit, I'm... like the frog. You're not easy being green. Shush. Okay. I chose this album because of the fact I really, really liked it. Well, and I can't see the cover. And I... see, this, see this area I left you here to put the record? Work with me. Take three. I chose this record because I really, really liked it, and I just liked hearing the funny mistakes and all of that. Like, I always laugh at them. <laughs> like, the scarlet pimple. <laughs> Boner fart. 
All right. Very good. So that was your pick of the week. So remember, gang, um, no matter where, no matter how, no matter who, no matter what, no matter what, vinyl lives lives matter. matter. We'll see you again next week. Thanks for putting up with us. And, uh, oh, hold on. Mark has something to say. I just want to say I'm really sorry about what I said. Hey, man. Love you too, bud. See you next week. And this is the part of the video where the guy says like, click, subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell. And there's also, also, click here for you to recommend a video. And also, also, click here for another one of mine. If I know how to do any of that stuff. (sighs) I can teach you how again if you just listen to me. Last time I listened to you was what? Did you say something? I forgot what you said already. (laughs)